All right. Howdy, y'all. This is Andy with Troglodyne. I'm going to be doing a video today uh, that's more of a stream of consciousness, more of a stream of programming, to be quite specific, uh, where I'm going to show you how you might add an emoji picker to your own website. And I'm going to be doing it, you know, off rip, no real big preparation. I've got uh, the repo cloned, that sort of thing on the deployment environment. Uh, I am basically ready to go, but I haven't actually done the things to integrate it. So it'll be kind of an exploration. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I will take a look here real quick at my screen. Uh, anyways, uh, it's going to be the fgemojipicker.js from Woody180 on GitHub. Let me bring the screen over to that real quick. Alrighty, so you will see over here we have uh, Woody180's vanilla JavaScript emoji picker. Um, and basically all it is is a little picker for emoji. Uh, I noticed today that I wanted to add some, you know, silly little emojis with what I was posting on tiodesigny.net. Um, since we have a posting UI here, this is pretty old. It's, you know, pretty simple as you can see. Um, but I want in this comments field to be able to add little emojis. So I'm going to take a look at doing that. It's probably not going to be the prettiest, but it's going to at least do the job. You can see we have a little pick emoji button there and we'll see how easy it is. Okay. So let me go over to my deployment environment. So We've got the emoji picker thumb, fg emoji picker.js, emoji list.json, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so the clone worked good. So we're going to need to first put the file along with this somewhere I can load it. So let's cp. Uh, fg emoji picker.js over to tsnjs. Okay, and we're going to put slash tsn. I'm going to try to think of a good place to put that JSON file. Maybe I will put it along in the JS directory as well. Yeah, I'm thinking I will. Okay, cool. So let's put the full emoji list.json over in there. Okay, and that's probably how it's actually expecting it over there. So we're going to hit it inside the head of the project. So let's get out of here. Just in. Right. Stop.php. Let's make sure that I know. Well, it's probably going to be in sysadmin. In. And it's going to be on mbengine.inc. I am thinking. You see, I got a lot of PHP here, but right, here's my DOM. So I can include the script here. Okay, so let's do script type equals text JavaScript. And Let's do uh, SRC. That's what I was thinking of. Script. Okay, and so for this, it's going to be at JS, and I believe it's the FG, whatever the heck it was. Let's take a look here. FG emoji picker .js. Okay. So foreground my job here. All right. So I've saved that. I should be able to refresh my page here and at least check that I have the JavaScript loaded. All right. So F5 the page. All right, so let's take a look at the network tab. 
So we got ftemojipicker.js. Got the full JS, good. Everything looks like it's going good here. It's not minified, but that's actually okay for this type of UI. You can see it's still loaded extremely quick, especially since this is 10 KB, that's rather small. So let's take a look here. So we can initialize it, new FD emoji picker, trigger selector. Okay. Da, 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 da. So it can be multiple selectors. All right, let's take a look here while we are in the inspector. Go back to my GS console. Okay, trigger selector. And what is my... So I won't have to worry about that. So I'm guessing directory to JSON is going to be where it's from, unless there is anything special. Uh, init or trigger element. Do, 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 do. So then the triggers are just these selectors. Okay, and I'm presuming these are going to be a, well, yeah, let's take a look. Let's just set text area then. That's gonna be easy for now anyways. Text area. And going to have our do, 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 position gonna be on the bottom. Let's try that. All right, and that should do the trick. So we have an object there, and I think it didn't have a problem, so to speak, but I'm not seeing any sort of update to the DOM, so we're not quite sure what's going on there. I'm gonna start up a little bit of music here just to kind of keep me going while this is going on. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got going on here. New FG emoji picker triggers with positions. We got deer and okay. So there has to be an emission uh, thing here. It looks like so. It returns two arguments first is the emoji itself, and the second is the triggering element. So basically, whenever it happens, we need to emit some sort of emoji to this text area, it looks like. Okay. So, let us take a look at that and make sure that we have the right things done for this. set up immediately there. Well, let's put in another script here. We'll just copy and paste this for now into our secondary script. Well, let's set paste first. I understand what's going on here. So we have button and text area. So let's let's. I think I think I might know what's going on here. And we'll have 
here be that? And let's find out. Aha, so basically whenever you click on it, it brings up the emoji picker. So I don't really need that there. I need to construct another button that summons it and then you can have the emojis from there. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. All right, so let us, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so then I could add it for the title and for the comments. For now, I will add it only to the comments. So let's go down. Trigger is going to be button dot G picker. And we will have it. Yeah, bottom's fine. Okay. Let's see. So. And then init. That's right, this emoji. So let me try this real quick. I just want to see if this actually does. Yes, it does. Nice. Okay, so now I just have to make sure it works on the actual button itself and it will emit it to the text area. Good, good, good. Okay, so now it's time to make button.emoji picker. Alright. I have this comments here. Yes. Yeah, you'll note the kind of slash after the BR, which on HTML5 is unnecessary, but it was XHTML, I believe 1.2, something like that, that this was really written for. So you'll see that sort of thing going on. All right, comments, and then let's make a button. Class equals cool. button and it is going to be the emoji picker slash button and then let's get a an appropriate value for it by this thing here so copy that UTF-8 symbol put uh, yeah remove and print sure I don't care. <laughs> oh, those double wides. Okay, good. And I think that ought to be good. Let us refresh. And we will have this, this, this. You are fine, and for good measure, let's do the search. Got to go for the eggplant emojis. <laughs> All right, yeah, that actually seems to work pretty good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, that actually took less time than I thought it would, so let's go on and add another button to the title itself so that we can have it bound to both and see what happens there okay I will copy my emoji picker guy Doo -doo -doo. well no I don't think I want another title actually I only want another comments I'm, I'm gonna just skip that there's some reasons for that but anyways I think we're basically done here. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? That was indeed easy. Once I got it actually going, it was, what, five minutes, something like that? So anyways, this should be a pretty good uh, way to show you how exactly you need to go about uh, picking up a new vanilla JS thing that does what you want for your website, uh, some sort of whatever, it just, solves your problem you know what I mean because at troglodyne we're all about finding something to solve a specific problem we wanted I wanted to spam emojis in my dumbass little shit posts on todesian.net and this solved the problem in a really really small amount of time so absolutely wonderful right cool gonna cut off the stream here well not stream it's just a recording today 
and see you tomorrow.